It's a portrait of a health service in critical conditions. Patients dying unnecessarily and officials forced to step in to avoid any further harm. A major investigation led by the NHS England medical director, Sir Bruce Keogh, has uncovered a series of failings from serious breaches of care to a gaping lap, lack of compassion. As ministers said, special teams would be sent in to sort out the worst performing trusts. Tonight, we speak to the politicians, key officials, patients and relatives to find out just why things got so bad. Well, first, let's take a bit of a closer look at the trusts that were investigated because of high death rates. So Bruce Keogh's review looked into 14 NHS trusts across England, from Cumbria to Buckinghamshire. As a result, the government has placed 11 in special measures. The Health Secretary, Jeremy Hunt, recited a litany of poor care. Patients left on trolleys for long periods, overworked staff. Some worked up to 12 days in a row with no break. And weak leadership. Well, I'm joined now in... Well, now we're here, now we're here from Jane Deeth, who's been at, uh, at one of the hospitals affected. The clinical director just stood up and said, Mr Renshaw, we failed your wife. We failed her. I said, you're not kidding. I feel I've got no faith in that hospital whatsoever. I wouldn't be confident to send anyone there. I just want to see something happen where more care is taken. Grief, broken trust and disappointment in the hospitals found to be letting patients down today. Edward Maitland had had tongue cancer. He found it hard to speak and couldn't swallow solid food. He lived on special milkshakes. When he went into Wickham Hospital with dehydration, his treatment plan and his notes stated no solid food. Yet nurses fed him for days until he choked on Weetabix. He was resuscitated, but the food had got into his lungs. The mistake killed him. The drinks were on the bedside cabinet in front of him, so they were visibly there. And I'd had a conversation with the nurse. I couldn't believe it. I was really shocked. So I couldn't understand what had happened or how it had happened. I was horrified that such a simple mistake could be made. It was three, three weeks of pain and anguish. Um, I would have rather he hadn't have been resuscitated in the first, first action, having watched him go through that for three weeks. Buckinghamshire Healthcare NHS Trust is hereby in special measures. Today it said it's improving urgent care, out of hours support and will review recruitment and retention of staff. Sir Bruce Keogh's review found all 14 trusts were failing even though half the time the regulator, the CQC, passed them as meeting basic standards. Sir Bruce's report says the hospitals are trapped in mediocrity. Worryingly, they knew they had problems but often failed to act. Problems like difficulty recruiting enough high-quality staff and a lack of clinical cover out of hours. His report demands the trusts immediately review their levels of staffing and focus on patient safety. Hand in hand the focus of the government and the opposition today support. was on blaming each other the for the state of these failing care. hospitals. The last government left the NHS with a system that covered up weak hospital yeah. leadership. Yeah. Order! If founding the NHS is considered Labour's proudest achievement, today is their darkest moment as a Labour government is exposed as caring more about its own reputation than our most vulnerable citizens in the NHS. Andy Burnham. The Health Secretary claimed that this was a historical report all about the past and the last government. Well, I've got news for him. It's not. Trusts were identified on the basis of mortality data for 2011 and 2012. This report is about his government and failings happening now. Edward Maitland's family didn't want to see a political battle. They wanted to see solutions. They've watched the Stafford scandal unfold and heard about sometimes appalling end-of-life care. They'd just like to be able to trust their hospital is safe. This report essentially says that for too long, too many hospitals have been covering up their problems. Today, the raw reality is on show. This may be the start of a new culture of openness. The challenge now is to make things better. Jane Deeth, Channel 4 News, 
high wycombe.